adaptive affine transformation, a simple and effective operation for spatial misaligned image generation. In this paper, we first propose one simple but effective operator named adaptive affine transformation to solve the problem of spatial misaligned image generation. As shown in below image, different colors represent different affine transformations. Adaptive affine transformation realizes feature spatial alignment through different spatial affine transformations in different feature channels. Next, we design one adaptive affine transformation module that can be used for different tasks of face reenactment, talking face generation, pose transfer and person image generation. Firstly, three inputs images, including one source image, one source heat map, one driving heat map are input into one appearance encoder to extract appearance feature maps. Then, appearance feature maps are input into one transformation encoder to compute the affine parameters of scale, rotation and translation. Next, two adaptive affine transformation operators and three convolutional layers are used alternately to align feature maps. One extra adaptive instance normalization is used to add textural details. Finally, Aligned feature maps are input into one appearance decoder to synthesize the output image. We show our results on face reenactment in normal head pose. The left is driving video, the right are synthetic results. Face reenactment aims to synthesize videos with same expression in head pose of driving video. Finally saw it. It actually lived up to the descriptions. It was so disturbing. Um, but Nightmare on Elm Street was a film that traumatized me. I remember I saw it on a VCR and I had to pause it and I think we played Clue for like six hours just to like cleanse ourselves of Elm Street and then I had to finish it during the day. I was actually too scared to watch the movie. Um, and then in the 90s, Scream brought back horror. So to, just to think of someone who has not only just had three massive influential horror films, but in three different decades, it's, it's insane. Um, when I made my first film, Cabin Fever, I made it for a very low budget, and I didn't have money for music, like to put songs. So in extreme head pose. Really valued it, and it was really special for us because we're both like big fans of each other personally and professionally, and and so we always really loved when we got to do stuff. So I loved that in the last few episodes, I got like. We show our results on talking face generation. All right, guardians, don't forget this might be dangerous, so let's put on our mean faces. But these people are innocent. Taking their lives will gain you nothing. So just take mine. And end this. A moment where she's outrun every doubt and fear she's ever had about herself, and she flies. We show our results on controllable multimodal animations. Especially if you have big ears like me. And you'll have plenty of time to catch up with your friends once the immediate public health crisis is over. But what remains true? We show our results of face manipulation. We show our results on post transfer. We compare a method with state of the art works on face reenactment in normal head pose. The X to face generates unrealistic face in normal head pose, FOMM. P I render and our method generate better results. In extreme head pose, comprised with P I render, our method preserves the identity information better. Comprised with F O M M, our method preserves the identity scale better. We compare method with state-of-the-art works on talking face generation. All of which can make a difference in your everyday life. The bottom line is... Zhang generate artifacts in large head motions.
The main reason is that their prior assumption of dense flow becomes unreliable under large head movements. As competition is good. Joe neglect the problem of misaligned image mapping, so their framework synthesizes blurry results under large head motions. Good for consumers, workers, businesses, and our economy. So I'm going to keep doing everything I can to make sure that our free market works for everyone. Thanks, and have a great weekend. Thank you for watching.